Hey guys, it's Marisa. Welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry I've been away for so long. I've been sick. But today we are doing a project with these beautiful mini vases from Panda Hall Selected. And I'm going to make some mini candle holders with these beautiful beeswax candles and these chime candles. So let's get started. Hey guys, I really missed you. So first of all, I just want to thank Panda Hole Selected for sponsoring this beautiful video. Of course, the links to this, these mini vases will be in the description below, as well as their website. And of course, I have a code, Marisa, if you want to save $6 off a $59 purchase and over. Alright guys, I've been sick for a while. I'm still sick. But anyway, I made these beeswax candles by hand i got this really cool um like do-it-yourself beeswax candle making kit for christmas i treated myself this is how they came out because beeswax candles are quite expensive and i got these little mini ones as well from rite aid believe it or not and i have these gorgeous chime candles or spell candles whatever you want to call them and I am going to make seven all together, uh, one black and white and all the different colors. I am making some mini uh, candle holders. And I think they're going to be really, really cute. And I love that uh, beeswax. But here is what they're really supposed to be used for, which is these are mini wooden vases. And they come in a pack of ten. So I use this really pretty, excuse me, my camera is unfocused. Uh, it, I had it. All right, here it goes. Anyway, so I took a little fake flower and I put in some of that um, uh, flower foam or whatever that kind of stuff is. And I placed it inside. And I just put this beautiful lacy tape around it. And it's as simple as that. It'll be beautiful for a shadow box or, you know, decorating a little fairy garden. I really think they are adorable. So... Today, I'm going to do some pouring on these wooden mini vases. I'm going to do seven different ones. I cannot wait to get started, so let's go do that. Okay, we're going to start off with the red. We're basically kind of doing like a rainbow. So here is the red. And sorry, my big old hand and cup is covering the pour. This is really pretty. Just gonna pick it up and just tap it out a little bit and make sure I get all the little spots. Just tap, tap, tapping. And that came out really, really pretty. And I just add a little white to that one. And here's the orange. You can use these candle holders if you want to make intentions and you want to do some color correspondences. So that's why I am making them. I thought it was a really cute idea to have every color or almost every color. I may add a little something to the rim, but I just want to make sure all of the paint is covering the wood. And here is the orange one. Really, really pretty. I love that. And here is the yellow. I'm adding a lot of white, a little too much white, so I'm going to add some color, some more color into it. more yellow so it's not all white and here is the beautiful green so in my next video guys as I am pouring 
Um, it's going to be a very, very different video that I've ever done before on my channel. I'm really excited about it. it is, I'm just adding a little more green here. It's basically more of a personal update, updates to the channel, and I just want to share some stuff with you. I'm really, really excited about it and a little nervous because it's so different, but um, that will be my next video, and I'm going to make a post about it as well in my community tab. Anyway, on to the next color, this gorgeous blue. And I'm just going to add a little more blue because it's way too white. I want to see the beautiful colors. That is perfect. Just tap, tap, tapping. So easy. I think these are so adorable. I love these mini vases and I love the fact that you can use them in different ways. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the way this one came out. I'm really, really happy with that. Okay, two more. We got purple. And I have a little purple like shimmer in there as well with some white. I have two different colors of purple and the white. Tap, tap, tap it out, covering everything up, and the purple one is done. And last but not least, we have the black and white. So with the black and white one, you could obviously use a white candle or you can use a black candle with it. And black candles are not inherently bad. They are actually used for protection. And I love that. Gorgeous. Okay. The, the pouring is all done. That is gorgeous. I love that. So, of course, I'm going to let this dry. And I'm actually going to spray it with the clear spray to protect it. Hey guys, I am back. I am so excited. I love the way these came out. Uh, they dried beautifully. I have them all set up with the corresponding candles, uh, the colors to the vases. Um, they just came out beautifully. I'm really, really happy. And I just melted. Um, of course, these candles are a little too small, so I just melted the bottom a little bit and I dripped some wax. Here's another way with a different type of candle. So I did use my Krylon, um, the triple thick, about two or three coats, the clear glaze, um, to spray each individual vase. And with that little mini flower there, here's the materials. I meant to take these out, so I want to show you now. This is just like a sticky tape. It's beautiful, this um, lace. And here's the material that I use. It's like foam or something. And I just kind of place it inside. It's so simple uh, to make these little mini vases. Only one flower can really fit, honestly, but it's really cute. But these... Candle holders are perfect. I'm so happy with them and I hope you enjoy them. And the last thing to do is to light the center candle. So guys, thank you. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed and don't forget all the links are in the description below as always. Thanks guys for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you could share the video, that would be awesome. It really helps my channel out. And I hope you enjoyed these candles. And thank you, thanks again to Pandal Hall. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.
Thank you.